So one thing that happens commonly in shipping is the, the connectors that will run from the ESC to the Amphenol uh, for an auto nav will become unplugged. In this case, just plug them in as you see, white goes to white, black will go to black. To use the program card, you'll plug it into the slot on the right with the white wire in the correct orientation. There's a matching set of pins on the speed controller. To start the card, you'll plug the card in, turn the pontoon on. From there, you can go through and view each settings. If you make a change, you use the OK key to save and then turn the pontoon off. To read the battery voltage, we have a small red battery reader. It'll plug into the balance cable on the battery. It'll only go in, it'll only function in one direction. If you plug it in backwards, it won't stop it from working. You'll do the pin side up facing you on the far left. You'll hear it turn on and you'll initially see the total battery voltage of the battery and then it'll read off each cell numbered so you have one through, one through four cells. Now with this, each cell will be no higher than 4.2 and no lower than 3.2. If you see anything outside of that, discontinue use of the battery. It is either damaged or it needs to be serviced. Now plugging in a new receiver or an existing one to the speed controller, each receiver will be on the side of the pontoon that has the uh, labels, either seafloor or hydron. It'll be on the outer edge of the pontoon. It'll be towards the left on the left pontoon, towards the right on the right pontoon. It'll plug into channels one and two, left side being one. You'll wanna make sure that your white wire is facing the channel number and there is a small chart on the receiver to tell you which channels are what. Uh, channel 2 will be just opposite of channel 1. And when you have that plugged in and you turn the pontoon on, you will see a light on the receiver. In this case, we don't have the remote on, so it is just blinking red with no signal. When you have the remote on and everything is paired up, that light will turn solid green and the speed controller will stop beeping and flashing. Now in this case, when you turn the pontoon on and you notice that it has a rapid beeping, really fast, that means that you need to do a throttle calibration because your neutral position is not in the center. So to do that, you'll turn the pontoon off, you'll have the remote, you'll move the left stick full throttle, and when you turn the pontoon on, you'll hear two beeps from the speed controller, also two flashes on the light, you'll move the stick back down to center, It'll do a confirmation sequence, and that's how you do a throttle calibration on an RCV Hydron. It'll be the same process for the right side, the only difference being you'll use the right stick. And now, once you've done a throttle calibration, go ahead and turn the pontoon off, turn it back on with a stick in the center, and verify that you have forward and reverse. Other than that, it should be all done.